After the events that took place that day in the field, the demonic being dubbed by the news media as the Straw Man was seen by many, and to those that encountered it, few survived. For many miles the being traveled, for what reason no one knew. It traveled all through the day and all through the night, until it reached its destination, Mrs. Grover's Pumpkin Patch. King of the Patch by Reaper's Horror It was after the harvest, and the field was all but barren. Nothing but the remnants of the yearly harvest remained. The crop was all gone, and the seed was not yet planted. I must spread my seed. The straw man opened its massive mouth wide and let out a massive cloud. It spewed forth seed and pumpkin pulp everywhere in one massively long belch. Fly, my demons, fly! Spawn and be reborn unto the earth! The smell that filled the air was of rot and bile, one whiff of which would likely kill a man. But no more would die, at least, not now. Death would come all right, but not yet, not until the second harvest. The night ended, and the sun began its slow rise into the clouds. In the dawn of the new day, Mrs. Grover's field was a sea of bright orange. It was entirely covered with fully grown pumpkins. Under any other circumstances, this could have been declared an act of God, but not so long as the straw man stood watch over its crop. It was now midday and a crowd was beginning to form at the fence surrounding the pumpkin patch. The authorities were already there, doing their best to keep everyone at a safe distance. The local news station was there as well, as were many secondary reporters and cameramen. No one dared to enter the field to confront the being that stood watch. The crowd grew as the hours went on, but no communication with the being was made. The crowd grew restless and angry. A man shouted at the beast. What are you waiting for, you coward? Get your butt out of that patch and do something, will ya? Come over here and kiss my wrinkled ass! Still, the straw man said nothing. It only glared at the crowd of people. A very brave and foolish boy threw a bottle at the monster. <laughs> this only angered the beast. Enough! The time of harvest is now. Demons spawn and claim what is rightfully yours. It was that exact moment the ground burst. <laughs> and spewed forth an army of devilish pumpkin-headed ghouls. Everyone began to yell and scream as they ran for their lives. Many 
died by the trampling of human feet as it was complete and utter chaos, a display of inhumanity. Those that were able to get to their cars didn't stop to help others. Many more were even ran over as a man plowed through the crowd in a Dodge Ram pickup truck. <laughs> Those that were left and did not escape faced the cruelest means of death. Some were stomped. No, 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 no! Some were eaten. My arm! In my fucking arm! Many were torn to pieces by the pumpkin-headed creatures. Some of the people fought back, but they were ill-equipped and no match for an army, let alone an army of demonic beings such as these. The field was no longer a sea of orange as it had once been. It was now a sea of blood and body parts. My children, you have done well, but there is much work yet to be done. Today was the day you were harvested from the land. Tomorrow, will be the day in which you inherit it.
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe!